Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys how I make my iced matcha latte. That is literally amazing. So I just wanted to come on here and show my recipe because a lot of people don't know how to make matcha lattes slash they think matcha tastes bad, which is not true. If you make it the right way, then it does taste good. If you want to see how I make my matcha latte, then just keep watching. Also, sorry if the lighting's horrible. Um, usually this is a great time to video, but it decided to be a rainy Sunday today, so it's kind of dark in here, so I'm literally using my lamp as my ring light, so yeah. I'll just start off by mentioning that there are so many benefits for drinking matcha. One of the best ones being that it's super high in antioxidants because rather than jade, Rather than steeping the green tea leaves, you're drinking the entire leaf. So matcha is made up of the actual green tea leaves that is like crushed up or chopped up really finely to make a powder. It is much more potent than drinking. Hey, I'm trying to make a video. Yeah, so matcha is basically green tea, but it's a more potent version. Matcha is a great replacement for coffee. So if you're trying to wean yourself off of coffee, matcha is great because it also still has caffeine in it, except you don't really have a crash or anything. Jade! Please excuse my cat meowing in the background of this video. I was saying, I honestly don't remember where I left off. It's also really good for fat loss. It's supposed to increase your metabolism, and I saw something online that said it can make you lose four times as much calories when you're working out too. So honestly, just so many great benefits, antioxidants, vitamins, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and jump on into the video so I can show you guys how to make matcha. All right, so this is my little matchup setup. I guess we'll just do kind of like vlog style. So. First I use this to heat up my water. It's more fun this way and I think it's faster to be honest. So I just turn that on and the water starts to boil. Then we need matcha obviously, honey, cinnamon, um, a whisk or a frother. And this is the matcha that I use. I just got it from Costco. That way it's cheaper for more matcha because matcha can actually be super expensive. So yeah, I did want to mention that as you can see, you should be using bamboo or something that's not metal with your matcha. I looked it up, I can't remember exactly what it is, but there's something with the metal that kind of takes away the benefits or some of the benefits of the matcha, so you shouldn't really be using any metal spoons, whisks, cups while you're making matcha, just as a little side note. This is literally a lifesaver. I got this bamboo whisk so that I don't need to use the little Bamboo one, sorry, it's literally thundering out. I don't know if you could hear it. This one just makes my life so much easier and I love it. Another side note, if you are getting matcha, make sure it's 100% pure matcha. I would not recommend getting any that has already sweeteners or anything mixed in because those tend to taste terrible to me. So I like the regular ones that are just 100% matcha. That way you can sweeten it and make it how you like it rather than it having some weird stuff mixed into it. First thing you're gonna do is go ahead and take your matcha. You can do like a teaspoon. I do like a big spoon of like this spoon that came with this cute little container I got off of Amazon. I'll try to link it down below but for some reason I my links don't work. If someone knows why my links don't save correctly in the description please I am begging you let me know. But anyways so I do a good amount of matcha then I add in my honey, so I do about a teaspoon or so of honey. My hand is shaking. I use unsweetened milk, so I like to use a decent amount of honey. Then I go in with my cinnamon before all this, obviously before the water. Just do like a little bit of cinnamon, just like, ooh, that was probably too much, but it's fine. And then after that, you get your water that you already boiled and you pour it in. Now, this is where some people mess up when they're making their latte. You only want a little bit of water. Just enough to cover all this stuff. So literally like this much. Then you're gonna take your whisk or your frother and 
blend it up. <clears throat> Make sure that there are no chunks. Once you are done with that, then you're gonna go ahead and add some ice. So I'll go grab some ice. So another important thing is to make sure you have a milk that you like. Don't just buy it random almond milk that you've never tried and use it. I would make sure that you like the taste of the milk because obviously that makes a difference in how your latte will taste. So make sure you like the taste of the milk before you use it because I know some almond milks and oat milks taste terrible. But I use this Publix brand unsweetened vanilla almond milk and I like it. So try to, I try not to drink as much dairy, just because I know it's not great for you. I still love the taste with almond milk. So go ahead and add in your almond milk. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and get my bamboo spoon. I use my bamboo spoon because you're not supposed to use metal. And go ahead and mix it all together. I almost forgot, matcha also apparently has chlorophyll in it, which is funny because I bought chlorophyll to start drinking. I'm jumping on the chlorophyll trend from TikTok because <laughs> I heard that it makes you like smell good when you sweat. I mean, who would want to not smell good when they sweat? Does that make sense? Who wouldn't want to smell good when they sweat? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what to say. Also has a lot of other benefits. So I'm just going to start taking it. To, you take two things a day, whatever, squeezes whatever and it's supposed to be good for you and kind of cleanse your system and stuff too so I don't know but apparently there's chlorophyll in matcha which I just learned which makes sense because it's literally like the leaves from the green tea leaves and leaves are made with chlorophyll I'm gonna stop talking now anyways I'll probably update on my Instagram or TikTok or something about how it's worked for me and I'll also go ahead and link my Instagram and TikTok down below as well and you have your matcha latte. Mm. So this is actually my second one today. <laughs> You're not supposed to drink like too much in a day, but I've been fine. I've drank it multiple times in a day before. That's how I make my matcha latte. I think it tastes great as long as you make it right. I think you'll at least like it better than if you don't add any sweeteners or anything. I also prefer it cold, clearly. I think hot, it just doesn't taste as good for some reason. If you have any questions about making it or anything in general, just comment down below. If you have any ideas that you'd like me to do for videos, comment down below. But thank you guys for making it this far and watching my video. And while you're here, you might as well like and subscribe. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell so you can get notified every time that I upload. Thanks guys so much for watching my video. And I'll see you guys next time.